I have a Guinness World Record. I also play GeoGuessr. So when I saw there was a GeoGuessr Guinness World Records map, I got very excited. I saw GeoWizard play this first. Shout out to him. Let's play and see how we get on. Start. All right, we've got 10 minutes per round. That's plenty of time, to be fair. So some of these will be quite obvious. This is Niagara Falls, right? I recognize the needle building up there and also the waterfall. <laughs> I assume the record here is the biggest waterfall in the world, but I will confirm that after our guess. So it's it's. Like up here somewhere? Hang on, hang on. Where is it? Where is it? I think it's up here, but I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. Niagara on the lake. That looks promising. It's the border. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So it's on the border of Canada and the US. And we are on a bridge. Is this the bridge that we are on? You would assume so. We'll try and do this without moving because it's quite an easy one. So there's another bridge behind. Do we have another bridge? Oh, we don't. So maybe it's up here then. This is where it actually says Niagara Falls and Falls View. There's a bridge there. But where's the other bridge? Wait, maybe this isn't a bridge. It's a view platform. That's no bridge. I thought this was going all the way across. I'm a fool. So I guess that means we're probably, yeah, on the observation tower. So we are probably about there. Does that sound right? I think that sounds right. Yeah, we got this. Shall I guess? Let's make the guess. Beautiful 5,000 points. So the map creator is out of this little spreadsheet that has details on all the records. So I should be able to search for it. Ah, the record is actually most visitors waterfall. Fair enough. Anyway, I think we got quite an easy one to begin with there. It's probably going to be much harder going forward. Forward. Uh, biggest bridge? Tallest bridge? Longest bridge? It's a pretty wide bridge, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, what have we got? We got some cars driving on the right. We got some signs. Oh, see, this is where I'm gonna be in trouble. That looks French to me, but I could be wrong. I'm gonna have to move around on this one. We've got a 10 minute timer just to make sure that I don't take the absolute mick, but for the most part, I shouldn't be sticking around that long. Grand sites. Uh, yeah, it is France, so that's good. I don't really know about any really big bridges in France, but that's a a very big bridge. Biggest bridge, biggest viaduct, something like that. Does this classify as a viaduct? Uh, yeah, I reckon it probably does. What is a viaduct officially? Is it a bridge that trains go across? We'll check that afterwards. In fact, you know what? We'll check it now. Viaduct is a type of long bridge or series of bridges usually supported by a series of arches or on spans between tall towers. So it doesn't need to be exclusively railway. It can carry water or roads. It basically just needs to have multiple columns to it. So I reckon this would count. Oh, so we've got some places here. I mean, you never know. We might get lucky. We might just spot Albi somewhere in France. I honestly have no idea where this is. I've only 5,000 points though, so I want to get a good score, you know? I'm not going to get a good score. I don't know where to go here. Geneva? Why am I in Geneva? Guys, I'm stressed. It's all gone wrong. It was all going too well for me on GeoGuessr today. <laughs> Let's go to the end of the bridge if we can. That's not a bad idea, is it? If we can get over to it. See, this is a rural area of France that we're in here. Kind of looks like it'd be closer to the Spanish side than the Northern Europe side. Just with the terrain and the kind of rocky little mountains and stuff. That is a big old viaduct. I, you can't deny it. We're not getting anywhere. Let's return to the start. Uh, and let's see if we can find the A75. That's probably something that would be quite useful to do. A62, A65. I should have done this straight away. I've just been chatting on, really. A75, nice. Okay, this is promising. And now can we find Milau? Let's have a look for Milau. If Milau is a place rather than a word, that is. We'll just work our way down the A75. Look at... Oh, I've lost it. Where's it gone? Oh, it, it continues down this way. Okay, that's fine then. That's fine. Wait, I keep losing the A75. Where, where's it gone? Where does it go here? A75. A75, cool. Mont Blanc, that is not there. That's fine then. I don't know why I put this timer on. The magic of editing normally makes it look like I'm not taking absolutely ages, but here we are. <laughs> right, A75. Oh no, it actually does continue over this way. And we got lots of watery bits, so presumably lots of hilly bits as well. St. Alban. Did we see somewhere that said St. Alban? Did the roundabout say Alban? I think it did. Uh, Albi, it says. Ah, oh, you. Well, Albi's close. I feel like we're in a not bad area. I'm wondering about committing to it. We'll just have a quick look, see if we see anything around here. Malau. We had the word Malau, right? Did we? Did we have the word Malau? Return to start. Malau? Yes. Nice. Well, that's promising. <gasps> Viaduct. I just saw the word viaduct, yeah. Le du viaduct de Malau. We might be onto something. I think we found it, right? We must have found it. So is this a place to look at it? I don't think I'm in the exact spot, but I'm going to drop the guess. Yes! <laughs> we found the viaduct. Ah, okay. I thought I would be closer there, so I was clicking here, but this is a place where you can view the viaduct, whereas really I needed to be underneath it. I should have seen that. Look at that roundabout. I basically just needed to click right next to the actual sign for it. But either way, that's a nice score. 4,994. So officially, the viaduct de Malau is the tallest bridge. Okay, cool. Okay, we're gonna do the next one and ooh. 
Ooh, what is this? Is it like a theme park? Oh my god, we're up in the air. Bloody hell. Oh, hang on. Uh, we're in Norway. That's good to see. And what is it? Tallest sky? Ski slope or what? I can't actually work out what these are. I think they're ski slopes, but it's just a bit dry. Oh, hang on. Right, we've got some words there that we can't read. This one we cannot move around. Oh, well, that is delightful. What a view that is. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, I think it's a ski slope, but I think it's maybe just out of season. <laughs> this one, I think I'm going to really struggle with. I know that we need to be in Norway, but I do not have any idea where. And you can see that there are a lot of nice lakes and rivers in Norway, too. So this delightful view does not narrow things down. Also, just as a little informal thing, the creators of GeoGuessr have given me a code, Jack Sucks at Geography. I think you can use it to get a month free GeoGuessr subscription. And I think if you buy any cosmetics off the store, you could also put my code in at the bottom, like support a creator code type thing. That's just if you want to. Anyway, back to this. How on earth am I going to do this one? This might be where it goes downhill for us. So that says something like Spare Bart or Spire about or spine bark <laughs> it'll be one of those do you want to just have a quick look see if we can potentially see that anywhere <laughs> this is not gonna work i need to be way more zoomed in oh, look at that church over there look at the gravestones that looks crazy see normally i just click near the capital in places but i don't think that's gonna work here i think i need to be kind of more out in the sticks a bit it doesn't look like i'm particularly by the coast when you look around it looks like there's a big river running through but the land is pretty whole so based on that we'll stick inland on this side obviously it looks peak summer but it's still particularly warm so i don't think we want to go too high in the north so maybe somewhere around here. This is a particularly large river. Is that too large? I think that is too large. Like you can see it from this far away. So uh, maybe it's probably more like this kind of width of river. It is kind of mountainous as well, like particularly in the distance. So maybe based on that, we move over a little bit. Oh God, I don't know. <laughs> We've got a main road following this whole river. And I don't really think that we can see that. It's far more rural than that. So I think we're on the wrong river. Maybe we want to be on this one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, why not? Do you know what? I'm just gonna click. Let's just see what happens. I should have just stuck with my theory of clicking near the capital. <laughs> I was just talking absolute rubbish. So that is a similar looking area to where I ended up going. But yeah, I just went too north. And actually, I should have gone with a thicker river after all. But we were 140 miles away. So that's not great, really, is it? It was very pretty, though. Let's find out what the record was. I'm assuming steepest ski slope. All right, not quite. It is the largest ski jump. Interesting. All right, let's do round four, five. Oh, my God. God, what is this? It's still loading in. Okay, okay, we are in the air. Whoa, I always get a bit weird when I look down and we're just floating. What on earth is this? Oh no, we're just gonna get worse and worse every single round. We are in the middle of nowhere. What am I meant to do here? Could it be most isolated church, maybe? Because this is really in the middle of nowhere. But is that the kind of thing that they would give a record for? I mean, they give records for anything, let's be honest. <laughs> This is very tricky. This is definitely the hardest one so far. So the sun is in the south, which means we are in the northern hemisphere. And that is basically all I've got to go on. <laughs> This is really difficult. What can we see here? Any kind of clues? Is that even a church? It could be a fire station. Why would you have a fire station there? I mean, to be fair, you don't want the trees to burn down. It's got a lighthouse on it as well. I do not know what this building is. I don't know what the record is. What's over there? Uh, nothing of interest. We've got a nice little boat. It's a delightful spot once again, but I just have no clue where it is at all. I'm trying to look at the houses and work out, are we in North America? Maybe? Yes? Potentially? The landscape to me looks a lot like uh, areas of New Zealand. But if we're facing the right direction, I'm pro- Oh, well, that's a bit of a giveaway. <laughs> Imagine if I didn't look up. All right, that's actually extremely helpful. Michigan's a state in the USA right here. So what's the record going to be here? It could be to do with the lake as opposed to this building that I've just randomly honed in on. So Michigan itself is a state surrounded by two lakes, Lake Michigan and Lake Huron. But with it saying Michigan drawn, we'll go with Lake Michigan. Now I guess I just need to zoom in on one of these islands. So yeah, that could... No, 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 because we're connected, aren't we? Are we connected? I think we're connected. Connected. This island's quite a significant shape. I feel like we could actually find it. Like, could it be this, potentially? That's surely not a bad guess. I wonder if the place that we're at would have a marker. There is a building on it. I quite like the look of this guess, but I'm just gonna have a little dabble about, because it'd be rude not to, really. Uh, anywhere else that 
could work. Maybe that. Nah, too populated with the buildings. We could go to, ooh, Canna Island Lighthouse. That could line, hmm. No, I don't think it does line up, actually. Just trying to look at the shape. Does that shape line up? Does it curve round? Ooh, we got a bit over there that I can correspond to anything. No, I think it's too, yeah, there's too many houses when you zoom in. I've clicked it now, I forgot to say. All right, and everywhere else is kind of right in the city. So do you know what? We'll go with the, I've lost it. I've lost it. Was it this? No, it wasn't that. Where's it gone? Oh, it was this one, wasn't it? Which is kind of, mm, yeah, I don't think, it wasn't that, was it? <laughs> Was it? I don't think that's right when I look at it. What's? I mean, there's no islands on this one. It doesn't have anything. 12 seconds later. All right, I've been looking around and I cannot find anything that is the correct shape. So I think with two minutes left, I'm just gonna have to guess somewhere. This might work. It does have a lighthouse on the end of it and it's very, very, yeah. I mean, there's a few houses there. Is that too many? We kind of just need somewhere with two buildings, but you know, maybe we just can't see them because of the trees. It just curves round quite nicely and yeah. Yeah, we'll just go with it. We'll see. Here we go. Right, uh, 140 miles away, so slightly closer than the other one. Ah, okay. It was in Lake Superior as opposed to Lake Michigan. So I actually got sucked in a bit too much with the drone watermark. However, without it, I could have probably gone in Europe. So overall, wasn't too bad a score. I'm curious what this record is. It's the Copper Harbor Lighthouse. So it is a lighthouse rather than a church. What do we think the record's going to be? Lake Superior is a pretty big lake. I don't think it's the biggest lake in the world. World. Maybe it is the biggest lake in the world. Should we just find out? Largest freshwater lake by area. Lake Superior. There we have it. It is the biggest lake. So it isn't to do with the lighthouse. It was just where the photosphere was. All right, that makes sense. It's time for our final round. And oh, we've got quite a groggy image. Looks like a dam. So largest dam, I presume. Interesting lighting on this one. Another very cool looking area. We cannot move around anywhere. We've got some text there, I think. Is it upside down? Can't see it. It could be a logo. That kind of looks like the Roblox logo. Yeah, that'll be what it is. Uh, right, well, this is a nightmare. The only dam I know of in the world is the Hoover Dam, which is also in America. But guess what? I do not know where the Hoover Dam is in America. I just know it's in America. It might even be in Canada, for all I know. You'd think if we were in America, somewhere there would be a USA flag. So that's the kind of thing I need to look out for. And I do not see it anywhere. Hmm. Don't like the look of that architecture. Oh, hang on, hang on. Got a big red bridge. Presumably that that's not the Golden Gate Bridge, but it's worth checking. You know what I mean? Where is the Golden Gate Bridge? I've forgotten. San Francisco, not San Diego. Okay, I'm assuming. Yeah, there it is. So, is there a big dam nearby? Anyone? <laughs> nope. Okay, that's fine. It was worth a try. Yeah, this building is kind of oriental looking, which makes me worry that we are not in the USA at all. Am I reading into this green roof way too much and I'm about to go in Asia instead of a reliable Hoover Dam guess? Look at those buildings. They don't look USA either. But maybe they are. The USA is so big and so varied. But I think I'm going to go with Asia. And it could be a terrible idea. But where in Asia? Japan, maybe? I don't know. Why not? Let's just give it a go. And we can go kind of Tokyo, maybe? Oh, this is going to be terrible, isn't it? Is this a really bad guess? Yeah, I feel like it is. Could there be a dam in this area? Could there be a dam in Tokyo Bay? Nah, this isn't going to be Tokyo, is it? It's nowhere near urban enough. What am I doing? I don't know. I'm stressed to death, to be honest. Oh, Fuji? Can we see Mount Fuji anywhere just out of curiosity? No, of course we can't. Okay, that's fine then. Japan is very mountainous though, so it's definitely not a crazy, crazy guess. I guess I need to be at a river right? Oh, we are screwed. We are absolutely screwed. I don't know this. It's going to be Hoover Dam, isn't it? But do you know what? I don't know where the Hoover Dam is, so it doesn't necessarily matter. I'll be wrong anyway, though I would get far, far more points, let's be honest. Oh, I literally have no idea. This is going to be so unbelievably wrong, but I'm just going to click randomly and hope for the best. It was Asia. It was China. Okay, that is fine by me. I'm pleased that we worked out it was Asia. I got the wrong country. I was 1,700 miles away, but that's much closer than the USA would have been. So we need to work out what that record was. God, that's a really difficult one to end on. Okay, we were at the Three Gorges Dam, but the record was actually the largest hydroelectric power station. So that's a very tricky one to end on. We're really in the thick of it there. So fair play if you would have managed to beat my score. In the end, we got 19,100 98, which is actually okay. That's not bad at all. Out of interest, let's see what Geowizard got, even though he played different rounds to me. Oh, we beat Tom by a thousand points. <laughs> yeah, who's the Geowizard now? <laughs>
<laughs> All right, let me know if you want me to play this map again because there are many different possible rounds that I could have got. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, use code Jack Sucks at Geography on the GeoGuessr store, I guess. And yeah, I'll see you later.